Hey everybody and welcome back to our brand new Photoshop tutorial. Well, in this video we're going to take a colored image, in this case this B that I shot a couple of days ago, and we're going to turn this image into a high contrast, a very nice looking black and white image, right? And it's very, very easy to do, trust me. So we only have one layer on this photograph right now, which is the background layer down here, and that's fine. And what we're going to do is we're going to go up to image and we're going to drop down to the area where it says calculations. Now, when we do that, you'll see that the uh, image t changes to black and white, but this is not the finished image just yet. What we now can do is take this little window here and check out what's going on. So we have source one and source two. In this case, it's the same image as you can see, right? We have the layer selected, which is background, which is the one that I showed you. And then we have a number of channels that we can choose from. Now, the top one right here says red. So let's change that to green and see what happens. As you can see, the image is changing, and then we can go to blue, and it will change again. Now, basically what's going on here is every colored image is built up out of a, a red, green, and blue layer, and you have areas in your photograph that have more red, blue, or green. So based on the choice that we make when we choose red, we'll have the areas that are impacted the most that were originally red, and so forth, right? So you need to find an optimum, what you like best, based on these three. I don't want it to be too dark, so the blue one is too dark, the green one seems a lot better, and the red one is a bit brighter. So I'm going to go with green on this one, and then we're going to go down to the second source here, and we're going to do the same thing. So right now it's set to red, let's see what happens when we select a green, it becomes a bit darker, and then we have our blue. Okay, now let's go back to green, I think that looked a bit better, and then we have a blending mode. Now, as per normal, you can play with that. If you want to lighten that, you can go here, you can go here, and you can see that based on all of these settings, it changes quite fast, right? Now, we're just looking for the ones we like best, and let's see, let's go with hard light. I want something that has a fairly high contrast. Let's just check to be sure which one I like best. I think maybe the overlay is better. So we'll do that. And then finally, you have the option to play with the opacity. So if you want to have the impact of this a bit less than um, originally set to 100, let's say 14, you'll get something like this. You can move that up to 49 or go all the way up to 100. Now I'm gonna leave it at 100, I think that's fine. And then your result, you can go in here and make that a new document. Now, if you click on new document and you click on okay, what will happen is you will get an actual new document in Photoshop. So right here we have the colored one and here we have your new document. So you save that out and you're ready to go. That's all there's to it. Okay, so hopefully you guys enjoyed this short little video. If you did, please hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on new videos in the future. And see you guys next time. Bye.